Embrace me then, ye hills, and close me in. Now, in the clear and open day, I feel your guardianship. I take it to my heart. Tis like the solemn shelter of the night. But I would call thee beautiful, for mild and soft and gay and beautiful thou art. Dear valley, having in thy face a smile, though peaceful, full of gladness. Thou art pleased, pleased with thy crags and woody steeps, thy lake, its one green island and its winding shores, the multitude of little rocky hills, thy church and cottages of mountain stone, clustered like stars, some few but single most, and lurking dimly in their shy retreats, or glancing at each other cheerful looks like separated stars with clouds between. What want we? Have we not perpetual streams, warm woods and sunny hills, and fresh green fields, and mountains not less green, and flocks and herds, and thickets full of songsters, and the voice of lordly birds, an unexpected sound heard now and then from morn to latest eve, admonishing the man who walks below of solitude and silence in the sky. These have we, and a thousand nooks of earth have also these, but nowhere else is found, nowhere, or is it fancy, can be found, the one sensation that is here. Tis here, here as it found its way into my heart in childhood, here as it abides by day, by night here only, or in chosen minds that take it with them hence, where'er they go. Tis, but I cannot name it. Tis the sense of majesty and beauty and repose, a blended holiness of earth and sky, something that makes this individual spot, this small abiding place of many men, a termination and a last retreat, a centre, come from wheresoe'er you will, a whole without dependence or defect, made for itself and happy in itself, perfect contentment, unity entire.